Yeah, it's, it's gone. Okay. All right, here I go. All right, go ahead.
In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Rocky II from 1979, the sequel to Rocky from 1976. The film was directed by Sylvester Stallone. He also wrote the movie and starred and reprised his role as Rocky Balboa, as along with Talia Sherry, Burt Young, Carl Weathers, and Burgess Meredith, all reprised their roles from their characters in the first movie. Actually, the room I'm sitting right now, this is my, uh, well, this is my empty former room. That's going to be almost my former room that I'm sitting in here. Rocky II came out on June 15, 1979. The film grossed $200.2 million at the box office. It was well received by critics, fans, and audiences. But audiences at the time did not think this film did not top the first movie, which is probably true. But in my opinion, I still think this is a fair, solid sequel and follow-up to Rocky, and one of the best sequels of the series. Rocky II picks off where the first movie left off, where we see Apollo Creed and Rocky being taken to the hospital because of injuries. Apollo Creed wants a rematch, despite what he said in the last movie about not wanting a rematch with Rocky, with seeing how hard and tough he can be going the distance with him. Because of an eye condition, Rocky has to retire, otherwise he'll go blind if he keeps continuing to fight. After when he retires, he marries Adrian. He tries doing commercials, but unfortunately that does not work out. He tries to pursue other career options, but unfortunately the only thing he can do is fight. Apollo Creed really wants a rematch because of all the hate mail he gets from fans about how that Rocky won the fight, not him, even though Creed did win the fight. And also because Creed is not satisfied the way the fight ended between them. Adrian gets pregnant and has Rocky's son. She slips into a coma and Rocky said that he will not see the baby until she wakes up and gets out of her coma. The thing about Rocky too is that it's not really much of a rehash of the first movie. It's about the next chapter in Rocky's life, and also how like Rocky has a hard time balancing out his career and life, which shows that like that is the hardest thing for all of us to do. And we also see how like Rocky has a lot of like obstacles to overcome. Rocky too also shows how like Rocky has to make a living for his family to survive, in order to support his family. He also has like comedic moments at times in the movie. Like, when we see Rocky doing the commercials, he's wearing, like, this ridiculous makeup and Tarzan costume that it just looks so stupid on him. And when Mickey is training him, he makes him chase a chicken in order to help improve his performance. It's like, I don't get it. How is chasing a chicken going to help, like, uh, Rocky in training and fighting? The drama in Rocky 2 is the highlight of the movie, is what makes the film so good and great. The series... My only one minor complaint about it is the fight scene between Rocky and Apollo Creed. The fight choreography scene is not really that good, not really well done and realistic like it was in the first movie. The punch sound effects are just awful. At least they were able to use slow motion camera tricks to make the film innovative and the fight scene a little bit realistic for a slight improvement. Rocky had money that he lost to the fight to Apollo. He spends it all in one. It shows like what happens when you overspend your money all in one. Kind of flaw to Rocky's character. And unlike the first movie where he was trying to live a dream, in this movie he has like a lot of obstacles to overcome, a lot of challenges to face in his life. Rocky trying to pursue other career options. Deep down he knows that he was just meant to be a fighter. That's the only thing he knows and can do. Despite the risk of uh, his eye condition going blind, it kind of shows how, like, that no matter like what else we try to do with our lives, our true calling never goes away. It also shows how, like, no matter what happens, that we can't run away and hide from like what our real dream is and what our true potential, what we were born and meant to do in this life. And Rocky was meant to be a fighter. Great, I like the first movie where his character was more grounded. In this movie, he's mean, he's angry, he's a jerk, he's hungry and desperate for a rematch with Rocky. Because he's trying to prove a point that fighting Rocky was just a fluke. And also how that he's mad and angry from fan letters of saying that he lost the fight and Rocky was the real winner of that fight. 
and that makes him more angry and desperate to Rocky again. Adrian is not supportive of Rocky of fighting again because of the risk of him going blind for his health. But after when she wakes up from her coma from childbirth, she tells Rocky that she wants him to win in this movie. When Rocky has a hard time believing in himself that he can fight Apollo Creed because of his eye condition, Mickey pushes him and motivates him to do better and believes that he can fight Apollo Creed. Just when Mickey's about to give up on Rocky for not fighting Apollo Creed, when Rocky's about to quit, after when Adrian slips in her coma after giving childbirth, Mickey stays by Rocky's side until Adrian awakes and is better. After when Adrian tells Rocky to win, his response is, Oh, what are we waiting for? Tickets? This is the only time in the series where we see Polly thin. And Polly seems to have a thing for uh, snow cones in this movie. Just like the first movie's ending, I think this is probably a great ending too because Rocky finally wins the heavyweight championship against Apollo Creed. It's a bittersweet ending after what Rocky had gone through. From not doing commercials, getting laid off from a job, almost losing Adrian from childbirth, and not thinking that he would ever fight again because of his eye condition. It's a bittersweet, beautiful ending to the Rocky movie. That's about Rocky II. During the making of this movie, Sylvester Stallone tore a pec muscle while he was getting ready in shape for the role. That's of Rocky II. Sylvester Stallone immediately worked on the script of Rocky III. He originally intended to be a trilogy in the series. He had no intention of making a fourth and fifth and more Rocky movies. The baby that played Rocky's son was played by real-life Sylvester Stallone's son, Sergius Stallone. Sylvester Stallone ranks this seven and a half of all the Rocky movies. In the first draft of Rocky II, the fight was originally intended to be held at the Roman Coliseum, which is kind of weird. I don't know what that has to do with Rocky and Apollo Creed fighting. Chuck Webber, the inspiration for Rocky, he was originally intended to play a character in this movie called Chuck Webber, a trainer. But unfortunately, due to his poor acting skills ability, Sylvester Stallone wrote the character out of the script. He started fighting and sparring. He's sparring a shorter, quicker, faster person. And that boxer is real-life boxer Robert Duran. Eight months to edit the climate fight scene between Rocky and Apollo until Stallone was approved and was satisfied with the end result. Local school students were used when Rocky was running through Philadelphia all the way to the Philadelphia Museum with the kids. Under the screenplay, there was originally going to be a flashback when Rocky first met Mickey when he was younger. Just like the first movie, Sylvester Stallone took his real-life inspirations and used them in Rocky II. Sylvester Stallone and Carl Weathers were fighting as Apollo Creed and Rocky. They were so really into their characters, that's what they think that made the fight scene really realistic. Dr. John G. Allison, the director of the first Rocky movie, why he did not direct Rocky II is because one, he was too busy with Saturday Night Fever and that he originally liked Sylvester Stallone's original script for Rocky II where Rocky is mayor of Philadelphia and Paulie steals money from the treasury causing a scandal. Rocky takes the blame for it, is kicked out of office and becomes poor. Review for Rocky II, hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification button to get my latest updates on my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.